Digital Celebrity Portrait Altered Reality Project. Uh, the first thing you're going to do before you start to bring in your celebrity portrait is to remove all the practice layers that we've been using all along. So what you can do is you can select them and just drag them to the garbage can in the bottom of the layers palette on the right hand side. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure that you go to the view menu and show your workspace as a full screen and then you stretch everything out so you can make everything as big as possible. Then you're gonna go to the layers menu and select open image as layer. Go find your image from your M drive and open it up um, to enlarge it in your workspace. You need to go to the edit menu, transform tools, which give you the handle, hold the shift key down as you drag from a corner only to enlarge your image without distorting it. Once you click on another layer or a tool, it's gonna apply that transformation and then you'll select the lasso tool or the magic wand, one of the selection tools to start to select and delete your background. In my case, since there's multiple colors, I'm using the lasso tool to go all the way around my image, but I can't delete until I go to edit invert selection so I can delete the background, not the image itself. Then I have to deselect before I can select the eraser tool, adjust the size of my eraser, make it a hard edge. I'm zooming in on the navigator palette and positioning the red box over on the navigator palette to the part of the drawing I wanna start erasing. And then select a good size for your brush and carefully work your way in short spurts of drag, click and drag to remove the background carefully away from the edge of the image. Um, take your time and do a really accurate erasing job. And don't try to drag your eraser for too long before you unclick, because if you make a mistake, it will always you can always undo to your last click. So do the erasing in short spurts. Once you're done erasing all the different parts of your image, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the layer menu and you're gonna make a duplicate layer and call that layer, uncheck the layer that you just made so that its visibility is off. We're just gonna save that off to the side. So we're gonna call this new layer your um, celebrity posterized layer. And once you're done with that, you're going to go over to the layer menu and make another duplicate layer and call that your image posterized layer. On that posterized layer, turn all your other layers off. Um, you're going to actually go and you're going to adjust the brightness and contrast of your image. Put that window over at the side so you can see your image. And then as you slide the brightness to the left or the right, you'll see the changes that it makes. You're looking for good 
brightness, bright areas in some spots, some really dark areas in other spots. And as you drag it from one to another, you should be able to see the change in your image. We're trying to get a good range of values from very dark darks to very light lights. Once you're happy with what you see, click the OK, and then go to the Hue and Saturation menu and drag the saturation all the way over to the left to see how the grays actually look. But then click OK um, before you save it that way. Then you're going to go to the Posterize and check anywhere between four and six levels to what you like the best with the way your image looks. So that's what I'm adjusting right now. I'm just checking to see anywhere from four to six values, which one I think makes the image look the best without making it too crazy for me to be able to draw all those shapes separately for my painting later on. Once you're happy, then you're going to go and you're gonna actually go to the layer menu duplicate that layer and label the copy that you just made your posterized black and white image. Then on that layer, you're going to Make sure that layer is selected, the black and white layer. Go over to Adjustment, Hue Saturation. Drag the saturation all the way over to the left to make a copy in black and white and a copy in posterized color. So now you have both versions and your original version that wasn't posterized at all um, on there that you're just saving in case you have problems later on.